everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a tutorial on this look right here. It's kind of like, I guess, warm holiday thanksgiving -y glam. And I know around this time of year, fall and winter, I love doing like a copper, like smoky eye. I just feel like it speaks to the fall season, like the holidays. So I wanted to put together something kind of glam, but natural and neutral for Thanksgiving. I know Thanksgiving this year is perhaps not going to be as extravagant as our past Thanksgivings, and we're not gonna be able to celebrate it with as many people as maybe we normally would. But I still wanted to put together a look because we can still have fun and do our makeup festive and, you know, feel good about it and, you know, do that kind of thing. So I wanted to put together a look that was simple um, and, you know, still glam, but not over the top. So this is what I came up with and I really like it. Per request as left by a wonderful subscriber in my October boxy charm. I am using the Ciate London palette that I did receive in that boxy charm, and you just get so many colors. I had mentioned in that video to let me know if you wanted to see like another eyeshadow look with it, and that's what I did. I know in that video I used a lot of the blues and I wanted to go for something polar opposite. So we pulled a lot of the coppers and the golds and the purples and the, um, you know, reds. So that is what I did today. And I also tried out this Kiss um, Lash Glue Liner that I bought in like my Huda Beauty Wear Test Foundation uh, review video where I went to Ulta and I hauled a couple of things and I actually tried this liner today and I was so pleasantly surprised with how fast it was to like literally apply as an eyeliner. Like I don't think I've spent as little time on my wings as I did today. For some reason, it just went on like a dream and I didn't have any issues. And then I applied my lashes right after because I didn't want it to like dry before I could apply my falsies. So I applied my Ardell Double Wispies. And besides the fact that these are a little bit old and have glue on them, so the tips aren't sticking as well as they should, I think they went on so well. Like I was very, very impressed by how easy it was to pop on the lashes and how durable the glue actually is. So yeah, I really do like this look. Let me know what you guys think. If you recreate it, let me know. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this look. And if you wanna see me apply it and show you how I got here, don't forget to please subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so you know when I post. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get on into it. Okay, we're gonna start off by priming the eyes. I'm going with a pretty vulgar eyeshadow primer. And I am just squirting a little bit onto each finger and then rubbing that into my skin. I couldn't think of the word. Then I'm applying my e.l.f. Line and Define Eye Tape. And then I'm taking the Ciate The Editor New England Palette and then starting off with this nice kind of neutral taupe shade all over my crease with my Morphe M504. And then going with this deeper kind of taupe, it's still neutral, not super duper deep, but I just want to add a little bit more definition so I'm not applying this as liberally as I did with the initial shade. And this is also with a Morphe brush, it's not as fluffy. And then I'm going in with this beautiful metallic foil red shade with my index finger applying that directly onto my lid. And as you can see, I'm just focusing this more on the inner corner, um, inner part of my lid. Because then I'm going to take this beautiful gold shade and then on the rest of my lid, I kind of apply that uh, as like a sandwiching effect. So it's going to go a little bit from red to gold. Um, and then I'm applying this nice kind of shimmer, um, satin-esque kind of plum shade on my outer part. So it goes from like red to gold to a plum. And then I'm going to take this dark brown um, on this e.l.f. brush and I'm just going to accentuate the outer corner a little bit more just to apply a little bit more depth. This is a great way to make your eyes look a little bit more dimensional and also more smoky. Then I'm going with this kind of cooler tone um, purple and then all over my lid I'm just applying that with this brush and I just wanted to do that so the lines between the first initial three colors don't look as harsh, they look nice and blended together. And then I'm just buffing out all the harsh edges with my initial Morphe M504 brush. Then I'm going with this Kiss Lash Glue Liner that I mentioned in my intro. It's basically like an eyeliner and lash glue all in one. Beware though, this does not come off. Like I full on removed my makeup, used an oil and everything, and it was still on. Like this is the most budge proof thing. It's almost a pain to take off. I had to try it, taking it off with my cellar cleansers after. It, it's a mission, so just buyer beware. Then I'm applying these Ardell Double Wispies. And yeah, they stayed on pretty well though, so no complaints about the performance. Um, make sure that you apply your lashes right after you apply the liner so it's still tacky. 
Then I'm going in with this Makeup Obsession Even Out um, Primer. As you can see, this makes your face look a little bit more white because it has that green tint that cancels out the redness. And then I'm taking my LA Girl Pro Matte Foundation in the shade Light Tan on my Juno & Co sponge and this is going to make me look super yellow on camera. Um, and yes, I was still a little bit more yellow than I normally am in person as well, but on camera it is so accentuated and I think it's because the contrast with my face, like the primer that I'd already kind of like whitened out my face because it is it was green. Um, so yeah, I look kind of borderline scary and it looks like I'm much warmer than the rest of my body, but I was self tan this day. So in person it ended up being all right. Then I'm taking my e.l.f. camo concealer in the shade medium sand to highlight under my eyes. And this is really just going to balance everything out. So it's, it's all right. It's all right. Just trust the process, people. And that's the thing, too. Like, if you apply a darker foundation, you can always go ahead and, you know, kind of attempt to fix it with a brightening concealer when you highlight your face um, and just blend it in. And it'll really just kind of make a difference and not make your face look super duper dark. It'll kind of neutralize everything. Then I'm just blending that in with my same Juno & Co sponge. The thing is, is that when you apply lashes, or at least when I do be, due to my eye shape, when I apply lashes first, um, I'm not able to get into those nooks and crannies between like my eyeshadow because obviously I don't want to pounce a sponge over my eyeshadow. So I'm just taking a smaller, more precise, Juvia's Place brush and I'm just going around the edges that already have makeup. Then to spot conceal the rest of my face, I am taking my Smashbox um, Studio Skin Flawless Concealer. And this is also lighter than that um, LA Girl foundation. So again, just trying to balance things out here. Okay, and then I'm taking my Tried and True Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder on this kind of flat, actually, um, Luxie foundation brush. I never usually set my powder with flat brushes like this, but I saw it in my collection and I was like, hey, why not? I'm just setting all over the areas that I highlighted. And then I'm taking my Milk Blur uh, Loose Setting Powder, and this is in the shade Light Medium. The packaging on this is kind of hard to get product out, but once you do, it's a really nice powder. It's talc-free. They have a couple of different color options. And then I'm taking my Ciate London Bamboo Bronzer um, in the shade South Beach. And I'm trying this new technique that I saw on TikTok where you only apply it basically like on your temple, so not all the way down your cheekbone. And I found that actually did really you know, nicely lift my face. That's kind of the idea. And then I am just applying a little bit of that on my nose as well, just to slightly contour it. And then I'm taking this really super duper pigmented BH Cosmetics blush. Um, and this is in the shade Caribbean Coral, I believe. And you can see tapping that off and barely applying anything is still a lot like you literally see i uh, dunked my brush in once and then tapped it off and it still gives you that nice flush and i'm just gonna do my brows real quick showing you what i use my la girl brow pencil and my milk brow gel just going in with my morphe m213 then some dark brown shadow um along the lower lash line and then buffing that out with a taupe so it doesn't look super harsh And then I'm just taking this blank kind of like color pop brush to buff out the harsh edges. And then I'm taking the Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara and I'm applying that to my top and bottom lashes. The top lashes to kind of mesh it together with the false lashes and then my bottom lashes because the wand is so skinny and it's great for lower lashes, especially for me because my lower lashes are pretty much non-existent. And then I am taking this LA Girl Neon Shockwave Black Liner just to tight line my eyes and kind of further um, blend everything together and then I am taking my essence pure nude highlighter in the shade be my highlight this is a tried and true I know a lot of people think this is like an all-over face glow because it is a little bit more natural but honestly like this can be very blinding as you can see and then I'm also applying that on my brow bones and my inner corners
Okay, and then I am lining my lips with one of my favorite liners of all time, the Milani Lip Liner in the shade Spice. I don't know why this shade is the best, and I don't know if it's just me, but the shade Natural does not go on as nicely as this one, and I don't know if it's because it's lighter, so I can't really tell. And then I'm going with this ColourPop Blur Luxe Lipstick in the shade California Love. And then directly on top of that, going in with the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Are We Done? And this is a super pigmented gloss. You actually don't need to apply any color or anything underneath, but um, I just wanted to apply it as like a finishing glossy touch. And it just so happened to match my lipstick. And then I'm just going to set the face down with a normal Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. And then we're done. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Happy Thanksgiving. And hopefully I will see you in my next one. Bye.